In this video, we're going to be looking at what I did to create this vector drawing in Affinity Designer for the iPad. We're going to look at three distinct areas and hopefully at the end of it, you've got a bit of knowledge to take away and use on your own projects. Now, as always, if you get stuck with anything, just leave me a comment. I'll always try and help you out and um, get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're new here, because I've had a few extra um, subscribers than normal, uh, thanks very much for joining and clicking the like button, clicking the subscribe button. And the same, if you're old here, if you've been here for years, um, yeah, thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> so enjoy the rest of the video. And um, my name's Dan, this is Petrol Vectors. So here's the original photo I used for this drawing. Um, I've actually got some rust coming through on my boot and it's it's a lot worse than it looks. It's uh, It barely shows up on there, but it's horrendous. It's all down the inside of the boot lid. It's gonna need a new boot, I'm not happy. That's for another video. Anyway, so here's my layer stack for the, uh, the the drawing. I've grouped everything and I've tried to do it logically. I, what I normally do is work from the, the furthest back point and I work into the foreground. And I work from the major stuff into minor stuff. But sometimes those things uh, clash, but it, it usually works out. So I actually started off with the base bodywork. Let's just turn that back on. So... Uh, just tap on that's it so um yeah just outline the bodywork and then i can just start adding things on top of the bodywork so even though i've got rear balance and mud flap underneath the bodywork they came later it doesn't really matter too much because you can just um choose how you want to end the the edge of whatever layer you're working on uh, as long as it as long as the end result is right everybody's happy so uh after that I went to the rear window. Let's just turn let's turn off the base bodywork off and turn on the rear window and open that stack. So a lot of these uh, layers you're not going to see because they're actually the rear uh, heated elements so they're not really showing on the certainly won't show on the camera but I can just about see them on the screen. So rather than start with trying to mess around and make a uh a stroke line for this rear window seal. What I actually did was I just turn all these off. Quickest and easiest way of doing this was to just create goes a lot. Create one big black rectangle and stack everything on top of it. So that's what we did. And the next one was this natural piece of glass and then the see-through bit of the glass because you always get this um, sort of dark edge to the glass and then i put in the uh the shadow of the rear headrest and then i just added in all the heated rear window elements sorry i'll just tap there's actually a better way of doing this quick away never mind and then i finished off with um just to make it look reflective i just put on a piece of white um corner there and drop the opacity down to 20 percent. so that's just a solid white moving on to the uh rear light tail light that was done much the same way i just um if i can open the stack there it is i just created a solid let's just turn it on you can see it would be better on it solid red and then uh turn that off create the uh the indicator and then turn that off and create the the tail light fog light part of it and then just keep adding it up and that's the the reverse light uh, if you're struggling to choose a colour for this, when you when you're doing your own, uh, if you go into the colour palette, and just grab the eyedropper and just drag it on, and it'll kind of average you a colour. It'll give you something to work with, and then you can you can tweak it if it doesn't look quite right. And then same again, I just added on. I just add all these back in. A low light, uh, which one was that set to? 
and uh, highlight at 17 just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional and less flat and then what is next is another tricky bit was the uh, badge set Let's just turn that on Uh, it did take a bit longer to do than I would have liked because it's such a small detail. When you zoom out, you can barely see any of this detail. Um, but it was just basically following the the dark. You can see it's like a dark edge to everything, like a shadow. So I started on the outside. Let's just open that out. So every letter's got a, uh, a dark. Let's just turn the ones off top as you can see let's just concentrate on this number six yeah so i started off with a um base layer for every letter and then added in a chromey gray highlight and then put a little shadow on which is totally lost when you zoom out you can't see that at all but it's it's mainly mainly more to show you a lot and and then putting the highlights followed by the uh the colored section that did take a bit longer than I would have liked. But these things tend to. And the rest of it, I think, is actually fairly straightforward. It's, um, I'm going to just co collapse that one. Uh, door mirror is just two layers. And it's a grey, you know, turquoise just added up. And we start turning all this back on now. Um, where are we? The outlines for the uh, the boot lid and around this um, molding, not too bad. I was just uh, set up as a, a stroke line and then I played around with the thickness of it. And all these others are just straight up normal stroke lines with the pen tool, nice and easy. And you've got low lights, so the shadow areas, and then highlights for the slightly lighter areas. Added in the rear valance with a, a highlight on it. Uh, mud flap and the uh, the shadow under the car and then of course the background to finish so that's all i've got for you on this one the next video is going to be all about um actually a non-petrol car which I, I didn't think i'd be uh featuring on the channel this soon at least uh, I, I found a very nice mini cooper s works in a supermarket car park and snap some shots of it so the next video is all going to be all about that i'm going to do something a bit more technical with it um, and a bit more advanced so if you have watched me this far then thank you very much and if you haven't already hit the like button um, please do and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel until next time